Welcome to the path of financial success. Setting and achieving financial goals is a journey that begins with inspiration. Identify what fuels your financial dreams, whether it's buying a home, retiring comfortably, or building an emergency fund. Start by examining your current financial situation in creating a budget that aligns with your goals. Implement the 50-30-20 approach, allocating income towards needs, wants, and savings. Build an emergency fund, save for retirement, and focus on paying off high interest debts. Make your goals smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Write down your goals, track your progress, and don't forget to treat yourself as you achieve milestones. Remember, financial success is a continuous journey. Stay committed, be adaptable, and celebrate your achievements. Your financial well-being is a reflection of your life's aspirations, and with discipline and intention, you can make those dreams a reality. Well, it seems that this panel has a common practice of journaling about money, about gratitude, uh, about life. I want to ask Felicia, do you have or how do you uh, celebrate like milestones, achieving financial milestones? Are those things that you keep in your journal? Um, I do. Um, you can celebrate like me and go buy a boat or, uh, <laughs> uh, this is where mint actually does come into play. I do put these, I have put the savings goals in mint and I can track them. I see what's going on. And when we reach them, I, I usually tell my husband, like, oh my gosh, we hit a milestone. Let's go out to eat. Uh, so we just go do something fun. Um, you know, when we sold the house, we celebrated selling the house. <laughs> Uh, we celebrated, you know, going to buy, you know, going full time in the RV. But yeah, we have definitely celebrated all of um, all of the savings milestones. And and with Mint, um, Mint is kind of fun because they do balloons and everything when, when you hit your goals. So um, you like it's the gamification and it makes it kind of fun. <laughs> and I think that we have to make it fun. Yes. I mean, <laughs> people don't like the word budgeting because they often have the thought that it's going to be restrictive. But actually, it should be freeing if you're doing it correctly. And that's what it sounds like you're doing very well. I, I hope so. <laughs> uh, it's It's been going on, you know, and, and I have to definitely tell everybody, this has been some years in the making. So this is not something that is overnight. Um, a lot of communication, a lot of um, getting on the same page and alignment with where we want to go. But yeah, just tracking and having these goals have been pretty cool over the years, you know, getting the goals to get rid of debt and the goals to, uh, to keep saving. Um, we have a new savings goal. I think it's going to take us about five years to get there, but yeah, I like having savings goals. They're, they're kind of fun to track and keep up with. Mm -hmm. At least and, for me. <laughs> I say, and get you some small wins. Uh, Felicia, oh, yes. that was, that, that's a great point. And, and uh, Jen, I know you're at the same way. It's just like, get you some small wins. And I love your re-emphasis, Felicia, on time. I know folks, oh man, the talk, the talk has us going to 10 seconds, you know, 15 seconds, you know, <laughs> things take time, you know? So, I mean, I think what's the stat? I think the stat is like, you know, most millionaires realize, realize a millionaire status between, you know, late forties and fifties to 50. I mean, things take time. Uh, so give it that time, just like investing, uh, building habits and, and the like, uh, but also to, you know, while and it, going back to Jen's gratitude is I think celebrating milestones is gratitude, you know, to where when you do reach something, stay in that moment. <laughs> there ain't too many of those good moments. I mean, life is ebbs and flows. So when you have a moment, uh, like my dad said, let that marinate for a second <laughs> and enjoy it. Yeah, as as high achievers, and I would, would say most people listening to money podcasts are high achievers or want to be, we so often bypass these special moments on our journey. We reach a goal and we're like, okay, what's the next one? What's the next one I can reach? And we don't stay present long enough to celebrate and feel the realization of, of what we have accomplished. Uh, so yes, sit with it, celebrate in it. Absolutely.
Jen, do you have any tools for tracking progress towards financial goals? So I, I love Empower, which used to be personal capital. I, we track all of our spending and everything in there. So I like that it gives you a full picture on everything. So like net worth and spending and it tells us our net worth. And so like, we can see, we can watch ourselves like get closer and closer to that coveted million mark. Um, and so that for, that for me is kind of my tracker of choice. Preston, can you discuss the role of adaptability in achieving long-term financial goals? Ah, yes. So my my folks have that. People have probably heard this before, but uh, my dad said that he got this. He originated this, but my mom is telling me that she told my dad this. So I don't know what's going on over there, but roll and adapt. You got to roll and adapt with life. And because it's, it's definitely ebbs and flows and there's a cur- couple of certainties in life and uncertainty is one of them. And so you're going to have to roll, talk about um, the ebbs and the flows, the trials and the triumphs. Money doesn't always have to be, have to have a negative connotation. You know, it, it doesn't always have to be trial. Life is not that way. There's seasons. So, uh, you know, celebrate those, celebrate those, those, those triumphs and, and, and also be able to talk, communicate. I think everybody's been talking about communicate. During those times, I'll say something real quickly that when uh, talking about money in the home, our parents, when things were going to be tight, uh, they set us down like, hey, you know, I think just say, hey, we finna go to the park or whoever said that <laughs> instead of Six Flags or something like that. We're about to go toss this football around a Frisbee and y'all going to like that, you know, because money tight right now. But they also gave hope and said, you know, we're going to be together and we'll get through this. And then there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I love that. Well, thank you to our panelists for this very enjoyable discussion today. I'm actually going over time because I'm having too much fun. Um, My takeaways are really to take your time. I like the idea of um, that you can't be in a rush. This is something that does take time and you need to identify your values and be thoughtful and be mindful about how you spend your money and how you want to spend your life. I love the idea of hashtag MYOFB, mind your own effing business. And I think just live within your means, right? It comes down to living within your means and do what is right for you. And just, I guess, two takeaways. If you have homework, if you're not journaling, start journaling today. Because um, I think that from this panel, clearly you will find value in journaling and putting your thoughts onto paper uh, gives you some time to really think about things and be more thoughtful. So thank you everyone for joining this money revolution one stream at a time. Save the date for next week. That's episode seven, the timeless investment exploring the world of luxury watches. If you recall, episode three was the taste of success unveiling the secrets of fine wine collecting. And I learned a lot. I don't drink alcohol. So that was an interesting episode for me. I also don't wear a watch. So learning about watches is going to be a fun adventure. I hope that everyone will join me for that. Mark your calendar for Wednesday, September 27th. We'll be here again, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. You can sign up for my newsletter that goes out every two weeks by going to inspiredmoney.fm slash newsletter. Everyone thank our panelists for this amazing discussion about budgeting and making it, making this evening engaging and fun. The B word is not usually connected to engaging and fun. So visit Dr. Preston Cherry at drprestoncherry.com. You can find Jen Smith at modernfrugality.com or the Frugal Fund. Frugal Friends Podcast. Felicia Jones is at keep up with the, I'm not going to say it right, keep up with Mrs. Jones.com. And Rocky Lavani, who had to leave us early, you can find him at richersoul.com. So I'll see you next week. And until then, 
Do something that scares you because that's where the magic happens. Thank you, everybody.